Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. I am Q, and I am here to pick up on a general message for you all. See what's coming in, going out, going on. I wanted to tap in, tune into the energy. I know you all have been looking for my readings, my videos, um, but I have been, you know, adhering to the messages that came out a couple messages ago um, in terms of not, you know, doing too much tarot reads, you know, to not be watching too many tarot reads, to give it a break, to, you know, kind of take this time during our season to go within, to do that internal work. So I've been adhering and being obedient to the messages. So I am, I apologize for those who is looking for me, but I definitely, um, you know, I took heed <laughs> to what came through. You know, those messages are for Scorpios. So when it comes through, I also, I fall in line. But I will everyone as well. I will you all are enjoying our season, enjoying the intensity of the energy. I will that you all had some beautiful bliss, solar returns, that you were shown the love that you are so deserving of. Anyone... That is celebrating their solar return today. I will you a major, major, um, you know, I send you a beautiful shout out and send you love and light. For anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio, as you've heard. I'm also clairaudient. I'm an empath. I'm intuitive. This is going to be a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. I'm also Claire Audience, so if you hear music playing in the background, it's because I pick up on energy and messages through the music, and it tends to blend beautifully with, um, you know, the reading. So right now, we have Michelle and Deo Cello, and this is called Love Song. So you all have been getting some really profound messages and pertinence to love. And I really feel like you have a special love coming in. This is like a past life love. This is like a twin flame, a spiritual union. This is a real connection. This is not no fly by night. This is not no karmic. This is actually someone that the divine is, 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 is pruning you for. In the last video, I kept saying the word pruded, and it's not pruded, it's pruning. So you are be, the, the, your person's being pruning, like they're pruning, the divine is pruning your person. So it's like they're preparing them, they're getting them ready for you, because they, they were um, being initiated. So before we delve into the reading, I do want to give you, um, I want to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Um... So I have my little magic wand here. I actually made this. I found this wand during the nature walk. Um, and I found this beautiful staff. I was like, that could be a nice little, I could hook that up and make a, a um, magic wand. And that's exactly what I did yesterday. I've been very creative, you know, these past few weeks, you know, during my solar return. Um, I've been making all kinds of products, things that I just get downloaded. I have these divine intervention moments. And um, this is a magic wand, and it has crystals. It has Palo Santo beads. Um, copper is a very powerful conductor of energy. So I um, have the very tip of the wand wrapped as well as the crystals. Um, all of the chakra crystals are here. Um, and I created like a Palo Santo um, design here. I have the selenite along with the crystal quartz wrapped. And then this is uh, black tourmaline. But I just wanted to share. This is fun. I might um, start selling these on my shop, to be honest. Because uh, I find so many beautiful staffs while I'm out on my nature walks. And I like to use, you know, the wood from nature. Um, opposed to buying it online. But I created this yesterday, and I'm quite pleased with the outcome. 
Um, I don't know. I was thinking about, like I said, just making these and selling them uh, because I go through a whole process when I create. I don't just make stuff. I set an intention. You know, I make sure the energy and the vibration is right and I supercharge and activate everything. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share. So let's go ahead. We're going to tap in tune and see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloveds. And remember I said love song number one is playing. So someone's coming in in pertinence to love. We have number 47. Some of y'all, or 74, pardon me. Some of y'all could have been born in the year 74. Some of y'all could have been born in the year 74. Or some of you could have um, celebrated your solar returns on the 11th of November. Um, I definitely feel you all receive downloads when you're out in nature. You're very grounded. You're very balanced. Some of you love spending time out in nature. Maybe you have a very special place you all like to go. Um, I'm picking up the energy of like you all meditating out in nature, like doing yoga, um, you know, really spending a lot of time out in nature. And there's a lot of activity that takes place in your um, crown chakra. Like, I feel like there's a lot of downloads. This is the number 47. Um, 47 reduces to 11. So I feel like there's divine downloads, divine transmissions. Um, you know, you're receiving divine interventions, if you will. Um, we have Sir playing, falling. So this is the overall energy, nature. I feel like the divine is telling you to get outside, to go get some fresh air, to be out in nature because there's going to be some messages that come to you. I feel like some of y'all, there's going to be, you know, maybe when you're out in nature, you're in spaces where, you know, the leaves may be falling from the trees um and so i feel like this is grounding um it's very healing being out in nature naturally is is a very healing um element to it because you're out in nature you're breathing fresh air you're amongst all of mother nature's beautiful creations and so i feel like there's a lot that could come in um but i feel like you're receiving some sort of downloads um, you know, and it seems to be just kind of falling from out the sky. Um, so just be mindful. Um, some of y'all could be falling in love. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be revealing that. Um, we have happy ending here on the bottom of the deck. Um, and we're about to pull the card for the person you're attracting, Scorpios. So there's going to be a happy ending. And I feel like, you know, I'm picking up with the word uh, with the song falling I feel like you're gonna be falling in love with a masculine if you're feminine because the name of this artist is sir so I feel like you know you may have a masculine who has already fallen in love because remember we had a love song that was playing by Michelle and Dale cello so I feel like you're gonna have someone falling in love it's gonna lead to a happy ending um, some of you may get hitched may get married out in nature. Maybe some of you will find yourselves, um, you know, taking nature walks with a beloved, with someone who will be courting you. Maybe they'll be taking you to a nice trail, um, a nice nature trail. Um, maybe the two of you will be hiking, you know, spending a lot of time out in nature, maybe taking boat rides, maybe just um, spending time by bodies of water. And I feel like when you're with this person, it's going to just naturally happen. You're going to just naturally fall in love with this person. And you're going to be very ecstatic, very, you know, you're going to feel like this is something you've manifested. And this purple inside of um, this symbol as well. So I do feel like the two of you, especially with this green, the grounding. So you'll feel like this person grounds you, but there's, there's also um, a very strong emotional um, feeling of contentment as well. Um, and you're, you're happy, you know, you're happy. So let's go ahead. So who is Scorpio attracting divine spirit of the night? Who is Scorpio attracting? Thank you, spirit. And this fell right on top. So it says, um, it says completion. So this person that you're attracting, they've completed some sort of cycle. They've gone through some sort of karmic lesson and they've completed it. They've also, um, you know, have, um, they've made necessary changes. I feel like they're now more intuitive and they're listening to their intuition, you know, and things are easier now. Maybe in the past they were kind of stubborn, rebelling, you know, but, um, we have, um, men swinere and this is called easier. So I feel like, you know, this, this cycle has wrapped up. So now things are going to be easier in pertinence to how this person approaches you. 
how this person comes in or how this person approaches anything. There is a, a, a mirroring effect here. Um, the centered energy is literally like what I feel is, you know, the energy that the two of you are giving off. So there could be some form of like telepathic or intuitive messages that the two of you could be sharing. Um, because if you have not met this person already, I do feel like when you meet this person, you'll feel like you've met them already. I feel like the conversations are going to be easier. I feel like this person is just going to naturally kind of vibe, you know. And I feel like, you know, because Scorpios, you've been doing a lot of work. I feel like you've somehow activated your person to do their work. And now they're wrapping up some sort of cycle. We have moderation. So they've made a lot of changes. You know, they've been going through a lot of changes here. And I feel like with this um, number 14, you know, they were difficult changes, but it is green. So there was a lot of emotional um, change. And I feel like, you know, a lot of emotional upheaval. Maybe they've gone through, uh, like I said, this karmic um, relationship and now they're wrapping it up. The cycle has, uh, you know, completed. Everything has come full circle. They've learned the lessons. And so now they're making the necessary changes. Um, and this time around, things are going to be easier. You know, things are going to be smoothly. Um, they're going to be smooth. You know, things are going to run smoothly. And I feel like it's because they're making the necessary changes internally. Um, I feel like they've also dealt with a lot of root issues, root causes. Maybe they've had, um, you know, some sort of childhood traumas, uh, abandonment. Maybe they've gone through um, heartache and loss, pain. You know, maybe there was a lot of... Um, a lot of turbulence, a lot of toxicity, and, you know, things are getting easier naturally because they've completed a very, you know, painful karmic lesson. And so now they can make those necessary changes and um, love is going to be easier here as well. So let's go ahead. So how is this person going to feel about Scorpios when they come in uh, Spirit of Love and Light? How is this person going to feel about our beloved Scorpios? No. Scor Katara, no, 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 don't do it. You already know. That's why you're looking at me. Let's be a good girl. Come to grandma. Come here. Come here. Come. Come here. You trying to defy me? So how they feel? See that? Karmic completion. So just as I said, the both of you all are completing a cycle. You know, mirroring effect. Both of you are completing a cycle. How they feel about you is every ending denotes a new beginning. So they feel like with you, things will be easier because we have uh, Mansonair saying easier. So this person is going to feel like things are easier now. Things are going to be easier. With these two cards, there's two purples. You know, the purple is in the in the center here. And so that's a lot of, you know, psychic downloads, intuition, clairvoyance, you know, that's an energy of, you know, uh, very strong cerebral activity, if you will. And I feel like because you have completed a cycle, this person is, you know, it's going to be easier for them to come through. And I feel like you made it easier for them to complete the cycle because you've activated or triggered them. You know, so they was dealing with some really nasty energy. Um, I really feel like they have nasty thoughts about you also because we have Nas playing nasty. So I do feel like, you know, they're having some really nasty um, thoughts, you know, like they, they can envision themselves uh, being intimate with you. You know, they could be, you know, kind of pleasing themselves at night. Um, I do feel like they feel that there could be domestic harmony. You know, once you've wrapped up a cycle, they feel like you complete them to some degree, you know, and I feel like, you know, they will also complete you because they have also reached a level of self mastery, you know, reaching the nine, you know, so, you know, they're at this nine energy, you're at the 10. So it's like you're a step further, a step ahead of them, but you both are still meeting um, in the middle and, and in the green, this green speaks to you know, emotional fulfillment, contentment, joy. And that's why I was picking up early with the song, um, love, uh, love, um, 
love song that this person that's coming in is they're going to have love and there's green in the center they're going to communicate that I feel like there's going to come um, a point in time where the two of you are going to come into union and there will be expressions of love there will be even a showcase of love so this person will court you and like I said they may invite you to go out because maybe they know that you love to be out in nature you love to take nature walks you're really an um, an active person um, so I feel like you know there will be domestic harmony that the two of you uh, will absolutely make a beautiful couple and this is what's hidden in the energy is that there is domestic harmony there is an opportunity to have a very um, you know, a very beautiful union with someone that's going to match your fly. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. And so we have individuality. So I feel like the both of you are learning to stand erect and stand alone. You're learning independence is the foundation for your stability and self-sufficiency. So many of you, you know, could have been or your person also could have been in like a codependent partnership. And remember with the 74... We have nature. I feel like someone is, you know, has received some sort of download, um, you know, while out in nature, you know, while taking that time out to meditate, to contemplate, to get things straight while connecting and grounding themselves. They've had an epiphany. They're learning how to stand alone, how to stand erect, how to be independent again, because as I said, your independence is this is the foundation for your self-sufficiency and your strength and your security and overall happiness. So I feel you and your person, as I said, are mirroring one another with this individuality. I do feel like um, that was one of the major lessons that needed to be learned um, during this um, karmic, uh, you know, during your karmic relationships, karmic lessons. You both had to learn individuality, how to stand erect. And we have be your girl. So I feel like for many of you, this is going to you're going to be this person's girl or this is going to be your girl that's coming in. I feel like with um, Tidra Moses saying, be your girl, there's absolutely um, a sense that, you know, being independent and not in a codependent relationship and learning to prioritize your own needs, wants and desires is what has led to you now being able to draw in and attract someone that's going to make you their girl, make you their woman, make you their man. And I feel like it's because you had to learn the lesson of being um, single. You know, you had to learn to be alone. See that abundance manifestation. So during this 8-8 portal, many of you could have used that 8-8 portal, that August 8th portal, um, which is really powerful for manifesting like abundance, prosperity, success, financial freedom. Um, but it's also love. You know, this is a pink card and that could deal with like the heart chakra as well. The pink and green deals with the heart chakra. Rose quartz is a good stone, a beautiful stone to meditate with if you're looking to draw in and attract love or to heal. Um, so many of you are attracting love in abundance. You have abundance of love, of emotional fulfillment, of financial fulfillment, contentment, happiness, joy, peace. You, you have a lot of that coming in for you. And I feel like it's because someone is making you their girl. Someone is making you their man and I feel like this is something you've manifested I feel like if you are um, you know if you find yourself struggling financially I feel like there will be um, some more finances that come through many of you learning you know um, money management right now you know maybe you are opening up savings accounts you're preparing for your future you know for your children you know maybe some of y'all are opening up 401ks um, IRAs, you know, you're just really focused on your children's future right now. All right, these cards were upside down. Let me put that back. All right, so what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit, Love and Light? What's the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? What's the outcome for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we have surrender. So be receptive, be open, because this love is coming in. And we have abundance. Abundance flew right back out. So you are going to be someone's girl. You're going to be happy as well because you had that happy ending. I also feel like the two of you, you and your person are mirroring one another. Um, so with this mirroring effect that speaks to um, a spiritual union, you've signed a soul contract um, before you even came into this reality, before you were born. 
this is a partner this is nine and ten so the two of you are literally um mirroring one another in terms of completing a cycle um i feel your person has been activated uh by you because you're further along so I feel like you working on yourself, you healing past wounds, past wounds, you healing um, or breaking yokes, generational curses, cutting karmic cords has activated your person. And now there's a sense that the two of you could be, you know, kind of communicating telepathically, uh, intuitively. Maybe, you know, I feel like this person has met you in a former life or maybe there's a sense that the two of you are. Um, let me one moment. Pardon me. Sorry about that. So, yeah, you have abundance here. And so I feel like this is almost like wish fulfillment. This is like a miracle. This is like, you know, recognition and reward from your ancestors because of you completing a cycle. Whenever you successfully complete a cycle, there's um, all of the rewards that were delayed, all of the blessings that were delayed um, because you were working through that cycle or completing that cycle, working through a lot of the, the um, trauma and healing at a soul level. Now those things can come in. And so now you're attracting this abundance. Um, we have Oshun playing uh, brown. So I feel like some of you, someone loves your brown skin, your brown eyes, your brown hair. Um, Maybe some of you are, you know, like I said, you are, you're beautifully melanated beings and someone is just very attracted to you. They find you to be very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring. And so they're, they're really um, they're smitten, if you will, with your, your beauty. So um, let's see. Let's see what we got. So brown hair, brown eyes, brown skin. We got fertility on the bottom of the deck. So you are the divine feminine. Um, you know, the divine feminine is very powerful. And if you're masculine, then, you know, you're taking on this divine feminine energy as well. You know, but you could be tapping into your divinity of creation. Some of you could be birthing new ideas, new um, new ways of thinking even. Some of you could be with child. Uh, but I do feel like you're very self-sufficient, very successful, self-reliant. Um, you're also very abundant. You're very, um, you're master manifestors. Um, you're powerful as well. And you you possess the skills and talents of all of the queens in one. So it's like you have all of the characteristics, attributes. You have the qualities of all of the queens. So you embody that of that divine feminine. You embody, you know, all of the um attributes of the divine feminine of the divine masculine i feel you're very intuitive very powerful very successful um and you're you're creating something um and and whatever you're starting it will be successful some of you could have a business and you could literally uh you know just really be working hard on your business just mastering your craft sharpening your sword but i see success and abundance um and it's in something that you're doing. Um, some of you could have been born on November 3rd, 9th, 10th, 11th. So you could have been born on that 11-11 portal. So happy solar return. Or you could have been um, born on November 7th. Um, November 7th. Or you could have been born in the year 74. But you are seen as the divine feminine. And what you're also seen as strong. You know, very strong-willed, strong-minded. Just a very strong, powerful, feminine energy. And I see here with this be strong, I feel like you've had no choice but to be strong. And I feel like, you know, you're realizing just how strong you are because you've had to, um, you know, you've had to be, um, you know, you've had to embrace your singlehood. You know, you kind of had to be um, in solitude almost. You know, you had to kind of rely on your own strength. And so we have surface playing happy. And I feel like your individuality has made you happier, you know, because you've learned, you've discovered like who you are. You discovered what you like. You've discovered what doesn't work for you anymore. You know, you've created healthy boundaries as well. This too also makes you happy when you don't have so many people requesting and demanding your time, your energy. So I feel like, you know, by setting healthy boundaries, it is also attributed to your happiness, to your peace, to your joy. You know, and I feel like a lot of things have come to surface in terms of, you know, what you know you need.
to make you happy. You know, a lot of things have come to surface. And you're happier now because you feel more uh, more centered. You know, you feel more in alignment, more balanced. So, you know, trust your intuition because uh, there's going to be, and look at that, bodies of water. That's solace. That's your energy. So I do feel like, you know, with this nature card, the divine is encouraging you get out of nature in nature. You know, go out in nature, take some nature walks, have some nature talks, sit by those bodies of waters, recharge your calib recharge, recalibrate, and recuperate. You know, recharge your batteries, recalibrate, rejuvenate your spirit. But get out in nature, you know. You know, take if somebody invites you out for a walk, you know, take them up on their offer. I feel like a lot of downloads can take place. Like there's some sense of um like grand epiphanies that could take place out in nature for some of y'all. If you feel stumped or unclear, take a walk. I guarantee you that walk will bring some sense of enlightenment, trust. Happens for me all the time. Whenever I feel confused or conflicted about anything, I'll go out in nature and I'll come back with so many downloads. So we have sacred space. What am I talking about? I literally just said that. So sacred space, some of you, your sacred space could be a body of water. It could be a particular tree. It could be a particular trail, whatever it is. I feel like even if, if it's your altar in your home, you have a very sacred space. And I feel like you're spending a lot of time devoting a lot of time in front of your altar. I feel like if you aren't doing that, you need to. Um, but I do feel like with this energy, the divine is telling you, that it's time to connect with divine power, with your ancestors, your angels, to start developing and strengthening your relationship, your connection to your ancestors. Because this is going to make you happier. I feel like a lot of you are already doing that. Many of you like candles, you pour libation, you give offerings already. You know, maybe some of you are giving offerings um, at a body of water. You know, maybe you're going to a lake and you're giving an offering to Mama Oshun or Mama Yemenya or to any of your all your ancestors. You're paying homage and they are acknowledging that, you know, and this is, you know, making you happier. I feel they're pleased and they're happy on the other side. So many of you are in a protective bubble, you know, and you're really, really, I know for my solar return, um, I had a beautiful solar return. My children um, honored me, blissed me. I received a lot of love unexpectedly, you know. Um, and so I really enjoyed my time. And I feel like, you know, for me, um, the way that I wanted to celebrate was I kind of wanted to be, you know, I, I wanted to be solo dolo. Like I didn't want to be around a bunch of people. I never do. I never want to be around a bunch of people. But if I must, then, you know, it's going to be, you know, until it's time to roll out. But I really this year just wanted to kind of be on my own. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of wanted to chill. I chilled with my children. I listened to music. I watched some good um, movies. Um, I ate some good food. And, and, and I celebrated that way. But I really spent my vacation um, creating, you know, I was creating new items. I was working and cooking up new, um, new, um, potions, elixirs. I was working on my craft. And so that's what I did. You know, I was, I was really, uh, taking that time out to really, um, connect with spirit, to meditate, to get things straight. I feel your persons also, um, you know, cause when someone's wrapping up a cycle, you know, they're kind of like in a protective bubble, and they're doing a lot of introspective work. We can see there's a lot of cerebral activity because this is an all purple card. And so this this, you know, the highest number of change is being made um, mentally. I feel like someone's finalizing something, you know, mentally in their mind. Um, because this is, you know, the color of the crown chakra. So I do feel like someone has finally made a decision. Um, and they made this decision by, while, you know, being kind of like in seclusion, um, being in solitude, being in like that hermit mode. So let's see, why is the um, completion card here? Yep, what did I say? So someone has um, their boundaries up. They're, they're really in a protective bubble, protective space. They're not really giving to too many people. I feel like this person that you're attracting um, is starting to trust their own intuition. Like I said, maybe in the past they listened to a lot of 
negative Nancy's, Debbie Downers, a lot of the dun dun and they're realizing that, you know, some of the decisions that they've made um, weren't necessarily things that they should have um, done. And so maybe, you know, they're looking at people with a second look, you know, and they're setting these boundaries so as not to, you know, so as not to repeat or duplicate these mistakes. We have um, American Fruit playing by Zulima. And this is called African Roots. So maybe this is people that they've created roots with because we see home here on the bottom of the deck. So maybe, you know, this is a familial situation. Um, maybe this is a mother, you know, that didn't have any boundaries and they were kind of like overbearing. Or maybe this is an ex or a karmic lover who was overstepping their boundaries. This is someone that they've definitely planted roots or seeds with because we have American root, um, American Roots playing by Zulima. So I feel this person is absolutely searching um, for you. They're searching for their equal, for a like mind, because they're making a change. They are moving out of a situation. They finally made the decision to change this uh, relationship status that they may have had to move out of the home that they may have resided in with that person that they may have planted roots and seeds with. And they're searching for someone that will you know, that will match their fly, speak their love language, um, meet them where they are. Um, and so I feel like with home, this person feels like you're home. You know, they're searching for someone that's like soul food, someone that feels like home, someone that knows how to keep house, that's domestic, that's nurturing, loving, that's caring, that's grounded. Um, and they feel all of that with you. You know, maybe the two of you will move into the house together um, eventually later on down the line. So um, I didn't ask for the cards. So I'm going to put those back in there, give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is karmic... Um, completion here for how they feel about Scorpios. So the person that you're attracting, how they're going to feel about you is unconditional love. So they've been searching for someone that they can have this type of dynamic and connection. They want an unconditional connection, uh, a love that's unconditional regardless of the situation, the circumstance, they want to know that no matter what's going on, that there will be love. They know with you there will be love because they see that you two have learned very valuable lessons and you've worked on yourself, like you've healed, um, you've changed, you've gone through enormous change and that change has, you know, kind of, um, it has caused you to evolve, ascend, grow, to level up. Someone definitely sees, um, you know, you as someone that could ground them. They see you as a co-creator. They see you as very loving, very down to earth, very earthly, very nurturing. All of the things I just said, they definitely see you as very domestic. You know, someone who knows how to handle not only you know, the household duties of cooking, taking care of the children, raising the children, keeping a beautiful home, um, you know, just maintaining the functions of the household. But they also know that you could go out and get your own coins because you're you're very financially secure, independent, self-sufficient. That's something that I feel both of you have learned. Because I feel like this is you and your person's energy. This 11 speaks to like a soulmate, a twin flame, the divine feminine, divine masculine type of energy kind of mirroring one another because you're both whole. So this is a power number. So I feel like this is two people, you know, that are whole and they're coming into union. And so I feel like this person and you both had to learn how to stand independently because you were in codependent connections. But this person absolutely that you're attracting is going to see that you are very, very um, resourceful, practical. You're very loving, nurturing, and you're also self-sufficient, self-reliant. And this is something that draws them in. They've been searching for someone like that because maybe in a former relationship, someone was codependent on them and used them solely for money. And I feel like they had to learn to walk away from that connection because someone was just like sucking them dry, you know, almost like incubus succubus energy. They probably would use sex just as leverage, you know, to continue to entice. But we have Roy Ayers 
plain searching. So this person has been searching for someone that can ground them, searching for someone that they could love unconditionally and that will love them unconditionally. So why is um, individuality here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios and who they're attracting? And so we have take our times plain. So divine timing, and this is by TLC. So yeah, while you both heal and purify, clean, clear, cleanse, and purge what no longer serves you, belief systems, ideologies, toxic behaviors, attitudes, you know what I'm saying, thought processes, this is going to take the time. So learning to, you know, release what no longer serves, cut off what no longer serves, be independent, stand direct, stand alone, don't back down, you know, stand your ground. And now you're going to receive, you know, the tender, loving care that you need. I feel like there was a cleansing that was taking place. And the cleansing was um, to find emotional equilibrium within your own self, um, as I said. And now there's a bright future, infinite supply. We're about to clarify the abundance card. So I feel like you've been worked on, like both of you have been you know, going through like a pruning by the divine, being prepared by the divine. And it has taken time because we have TLC take our time. So I feel like this person is almost like communicating with you independent. You know, I mean, telepathically, intuitively, because the song is take our time. So it's almost like they're telling you, look, let's take our time so that we could be everything we need to be to one another. Um, but we have to be that for ourselves first. So individuality teaches you to, you know, to, um, you know, to practice healthy self-care, to take care of your needs, your wants, first and foremost, to prioritize yourself, to not self-sacrifice, self-sabotage. Um, that's why your person was also learning boundaries. And I feel like you've also had to learn that, obviously, because you have karmic completion. So you could have had someone... Um, you know, kind of abuse your love, not appreciate your love, not take, you know, treat you like um, the divine feminine that you were. And so you've had to learn to unconditionally love, even though your heart was broken. And you also had to learn to um, rely on your own strength, your own love. But this bright future is showing that there's blessings coming in. And it's because you've successfully completed this cycle, you and your person. So the Lakshmi, we just um, celebrated Diwali. Um, and that is a Hindu, um, that is a Hindu, um, that is a Hindu, oh my God, it's a Hindu culture. Uh, and it's really like a celebration of the light overcoming the dark, um, you know, overcoming that shadow, um, defeating, you know, the bad. It's like, you know, everything has ebbs and flows, but this is really a celebration of when you um, overcome you know, those dark periods in your life. So Mama Lakshmi is here promising that there's going to be a bright future, infinite supply. No need to worry better days ahead. And she's telling you to stop worrying. So if you're worrying about your finances or love, Mama Lakshmi is saying that all is going to be well. It's already all right. So why is the abundance card here for the outcome? So thank you, spirit. So we have bold and we have this beautiful card of Mother Mawu here on the bottom of the deck. So very stable, very grounded, very self-sufficient. We have start delegating and then we have bold here. So I feel like you're being more bold and you're asking for what you need. And when you ask, you receive. When you seek, you find. When you knock, the doors of opportunity open up for you. Closed mouths don't get fed. So I feel like you're starting to demand what you need. You're starting to ask for what you need. And in asking for what you need with your boldness, with, you know, this fearlessness, this determination, this drive, you're going to receive it. You're manifesting it. So I feel like you were bold and you started to ask and demand um, what you needed. And I feel like with Take Our Time, it's coming in divine timing. Um, but I feel like you definitely are being more adventurous also. Like you're being more of a go-getter. You're not just sitting back idle, waiting. Um, I feel like you're being proactive and you're, you're, you're taking risks. So this is beautiful. And that's what you need to do to get the ball rolling. The power card is on the bottom of the deck. So you're absolutely in your power. We're still in Scorpio season. So that does, um, that does aid in, um, you know, in your strength. You are very in tune, very psychic, 
You are very much a master manifester. You are in the practice. Many of you have owned your power. A lot of you have been manifesting um, during this 1111 portal energy. And I feel like whatever you've been manifesting is absolutely materializing. It's coming into fruition. I feel like a lot of you are having a lot of lucid dreams. I feel like there's a lot of downloads. Like you're picking up on intuitive messages. You may find yourself thinking of someone or maybe you're dreaming of someone a lot at this time. And it's because you're picking up their energy because we have Sir all in my head playing. So someone has you all in your head or maybe someone you're manifesting is all, you know, has you all in their head. Um, but we're going to pick it up. So we have protection and then we have power. So you are very powerful, Scorpios, and you have uh, definitely created an, you know, an un impenetrable, you know, wall of protection. I feel like your ancestors uh, really are spiritually protecting you and guiding you. I feel like you're also, um, you know, protecting yourselves from psychic attacks. You know, you're being very mindful. This is a deck that my son got me for my solar return. This is called Witch's Wisdom, and I absolutely love these cards. I love the messages, love the artwork. My son earns allowance, and um, he has saved up enough allowance to, you know, gift me on my solar return. He bought me a beautiful sweater. He bought me a um, chakra brace bracelet, and um, he brought me these cards. So I was like, oh, that was so sweet. He was, it was just, and he did it with his own money. He earns an allowance and he um, saved up his money, set up his own Amazon account and he did his thing. I was very, I was just, it was a beautiful solar return for me this year. I will that you all had equally beautiful solar returns. So that feel good with that shuffle. So somebody has you all in their head and I feel like, you know, you're intuitively picking up on that because you're very sensitive right now. You know, you're already naturally very intuitive and clairvoyant, but I feel like now because it's your season, you're super sensitive. So we have um, intensification. So something's intensifying. There's something building momentum and we have remembrance here. Ancestors, a lot of you are... Um, a lot of you are dedicating a lot of time and energy, you know, into your craft. And I feel like your skills, you know, your skill set is intensifying, it's growing, it's strengthening. I also feel like, you know, your sensitivity, um, you know, is, is also strengthening your sensitivity in terms of your intuition. Like you're picking up on energy very, very easily now. Um, and I'm also feeling like with all in my head, I definitely am picking up like you're picking up psychic downloads. You know, there's some sort of divine intervention, you know, with all in my head playing. And that was by Sir. I feel like there's a masculine that has you up in their mind, like they're thinking of you a lot. There's a lot of thoughts. Some of you may have like a masculine energy in the spirit realm that you're thinking of because we have remembrance. So maybe you have a father, you know, a Baba that's in the spirit realm and you could be, you know, spending a lot of time connecting um, with your beloved ancestor. And I feel like they're just kind of giving you the downloads and giving you the ability to see things clear, uh, clearly. You know, they could be assisting you in terms of manifesting whatever it is that you desire. Something's intensifying. So I feel like it's building momentum. It's strengthening. Um, the more you hone, the more you devote your time, your energy into something, you're manifesting something. So I feel like it's intensifying and it's manifesting in real time. Um, we have soul for real play in every little thing you do. So I think like everything you're doing right now. Um, is is intensifying um, and, and, and is building the momentum of this intention to come into fruition, if that makes any sense. So it's like whatever you are devoting your time, attention, and intention on, it's intensifying. And 
every little thing that you do is helping it to intensify. So the nature walks, being out in nature is helping to intensify um, the connection to spirit, to the divine. Um, and it's strengthening your ability. I feel like your ancestors are giving you spiritual guidance and some clear, some some um, clarity, some illumination, because there's a sword here. So if your heart was broken from the loss of a loved one, I feel like your ancestors are like consoling you, you know, letting you know that they're still with you regardless. But they're also giving you some very profound downloads. I feel like your ancestors are also setting you up. Um, like I said, initiating someone in particular to be your partner, you know, because I feel like every little thing you did in the past has led to this moment. So it's almost like you've manifested this. And that's what I was picking up earlier. Like you're co-creating with source, you know. And so with remembrance, maybe this is someone, like I said, past life connection. Maybe this is a relationship that transcends space and time. Maybe this is someone that you've met from a former life. Because we're about to clarify the person you're attracting. Um, and we have this remembrance here, ancestors. But I also can, you know, am picking up the, the message that, you know, you may have an ancestor that's uh, bringing this person to you. So why is completion and boundaries here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Thank you, spirit. So we got three messages. Bottom of the deck, we have guardian. So you are being protected. This connection is spiritually connected. Um, I mean, spiritually protected. Um, and you do have a guardian. You do have an ancestor that watches over you. And I feel like intuitively, you know, this, um, they're, they're seeing to it that you have some sort of success. Um, and they're also encouraging you to trust your intuition. I feel like you will know some of you may own a black cat. Um, some of you may have a cat as your, um, animal totem. I feel like you all, because remember what I was saying, like you all was manifesting something. You all are absolute healers, shamans, and light workers. You're very much in the craft, you know, um, and you use your powers for good. I feel like you're being like you, you're answering some sort of call, you know, you're answering a call. Like this is your soul's journey, your soul's mission to be in the practice. We have rebirth. So this could be a past love like I was picking up. Because with rebirth, someone has gone through a major um, ending, you know, with this completion here. You know, this is a major ending. But with this completion and this being a purple card, I feel like now there's a sense of, you know, reinventing oneself, you know, transformation. There's some growth. There's a level of growth. This is the number of change, the highest number of change. So someone has, you know, whatever was dead. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever isn't growing is dead. And I feel like this person has had to change that. You know, they were in a relationship that was very stale, very stagnant, stuck. Um, they may have felt unmotivated. They may have felt used. They may have felt um, like someone was kind of like relying on them heavily for finances. So it was very codependent. It was a lack of love, a lack of light, a lack of lo um, laughter even. It was just very cold very routine. And so I feel like this person had to make the decision to leave that partnership, to walk away and to establish healthy boundaries in the process. Because with this completion card, I feel like that was a part of their karmic lesson. And so we have Kip Phil Collins, um, and this is called In the Air Tonight. So I feel like this person will have some sort of epiphany download um, and they will communicate. Because with this rebirth, this is someone who's, you know, awakening to the truth, who has awakened to the truth. So they've gone through enormous change and now there's a new beginning that's underway. Um, and so in the air tonight with Phil Collins, I do feel like this person will want to communicate or express something. There's going to be some, um, you know, maybe there's going to be... Um, an opportunity to, to clear the air, you know, because I'm feeling now that there's a sense that you are, um, you are acquainted with this person by some means, whether this is someone that you've met, um, in passing, this could be an associate or someone that you're acquainted with, or this could be someone that you met at your place of employment, met in passing, maybe they befriended you on social media, uh, but there's some sense of familiarity because this the, in the air tonight, there's going to be, I feel like there will be communication, you know, 
And um, so we have with this banishment, this is the, how they feel about you. And then we have the karmic completion. So you've banished some sort of generational curse, yoke, hex. You know, this is exactly what I was picking up with this energy in the beginning. When you complete a karmic lesson, that's breaking yokes. That's cutting yourself free from karmic cords. So you've banished some type of energy. I feel like you've discovered there was a lot of snakes, fakes, fugazis, frenemies in your inner circle. And you also discovered there was some sort of like, you know, spell work at hand. And so you had to free yourself from that. So you've purged this energy. This person feels and senses that you've done a lot of work in banishing. Um, you may still hold a lot of, you, you may, may still love these people unconditionally, but you also know that this was predestined, that this is a part of your destiny. And um, I feel like in the air tonight, I feel like something just was, you know, something came to you telepathically or intuitively. You just received some sort of message. Maybe someone messaged you and revealed something. Some sort of truth came to light. I feel like your ancestors also gave you a lot of um, downloads, a lot to, of divine interventions and kind of guided you. And we have the cycles here, moon. So yeah, there was a lot of secrets, lies, deception. But I also feel maybe there was a third party um, that came in between a partnership. And I feel like this was an opportunity, a window of opportunity for you to learn to stand direct, stand alone, to be an individual and not be confined or, you know, con confined to a relationship um, that was codependent. You know, maybe that person was kind of like struggling and just keeping you around financially so that they could be stable. But there definitely was three people in the picture and someone was hiding this truth. But I feel like when you discovered it, you stepped away and you became single and in that singlehood you learned to stand erect so we do see there was purification so that's the deep cleansing you know the moon you know definitely uh triggers the water you know it, it and it also reflects you know it's very reflective so i feel like there was a lot of deep dives you know a lot of deep dives a lot of soul searching um and in this soul searching you realize that your independence was a foundation for your stability, your happiness, and overall peace. But you had to go, you know, you had to heal. You had to clean, clear, cleanse. You had to go through a purification process. And it's because, you know, you realized that you were trapped in a karmic relationship, a karmic cycle. Um, but you've completed this cycle. And that's what was hidden in the energy was it was time to wrap it up and, um, you know, to be, a, you know, to be solo to be single so we have this guardian here so you have you know a guardian um that is really telling you you know what you need to do in terms of you know getting what you need is to ask um ask for the help you need don't try to do everything on your own because that's not the way it's intended if you have a you know if the father to your child is still alive or the mother to your child is still alive and they're not assisting you ask for what you need if you have to take that next step because they want to be you know um you know they don't they want to be difficult then you know if you got to take it to the to the to the courts then do so but ask for what you need you could even ask green tara um because there is abundance here ready for you um and with this guardian i definitely feel like your ancestors are telling you um to ask so with one tell, 112 is playing love you like I did. So Guardian flew right back out. Guardian flew right back out. And we have concealment. Someone's concealing their feelings, concealing their, their emotions. Someone is concealing something. So we have Guardian, we have Healer. So what did I say? You all are definite healers, shamans, light workers. And you're growing very sensitive. And that's why, you know, you had to make those necessary cuts. That's why it was, an, it was necessary for you to go through that karmic relationship where you may have felt like you was the only one um, investing. You know, you had to learn to love yourselves. You know, you had to release yourself from anything that was not serving your highest good. And I also feel like if, you know, you learn that if people love you, if someone loves you, then they're going to show it with their actions. They're going to show it, not just with their words, not just telling you they love you, but they're going to show you with their love. Um, 
with their actual love that they display. And we have 112, love you like I did. So I feel like you've definitely have had to learn to heal yourselves um, from a past connection. Um, and in healing yourselves, you become a healer. Um, you were dealing with someone who didn't do anything. They did the bare minimums. I feel like it was a very toxic relationship, very black and white, you know, very gray area. It was like you say up, they say down. It was very, very difficult to deal with this particular person. But I feel like in, you know, in retrospect, you look back and you see how much you've become stronger um, because it taught you to be an individual it taught you independence it taught you to rely on your own strength um, and I feel moving forward in new relationships you're absolutely going to ask for what you need and you're not gonna back down you're not going to shy away from you know expressing yourself and speaking your truth I feel like you definitely have a lot of protection around you you have a guardian that protects you and watches over you and I feel like someone is also you know, going to take you and, you know, they're going to they're going to come in and it's like they're going to take you for a ride, but it's going to be an exciting ride. And the divine is telling you, be bold, you know, take risks, have fun, be daring, do things different, you know, um, embrace the adventurous side, unleash that, you know, this person that's coming in, they're going to be very familiar, you know, and I feel like this person, because it says guardian, I feel again, like this is someone that the divine is assigning to you. Um, this is someone that the divine is um, sending into you. Your ancestors and angels are sending this. And I feel like intuitively you're going to know. You're going to know that this is your person. You're going to know that this is someone that the divine is sending. And we have concealment. So they are hiding something right now. You know, they're concealing their feelings. And what they're concealing, like I said, they're concealing their feelings. Someone is hiding their emotions because we have love you like I did. So with this concealment, someone is eventually going to express their feelings, express how they feel um, to you. But I feel like right now they could be working through some things. Um, and once they you know, complete that cycle and wrap it up, there's going to be an opportunity to pursue, you know, to pursue you in a more serious way. Um, so we're going to get a couple additional messages. I want to get some um, I want to get the kipper. So yeah, this person is absolutely going to come in. They're going to love you. Um, they're going to treat you right. I feel like there's going to be a lot of excitement in this connection. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. This is going to be your um, your twin flame, your your divine masculine. This is like the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. The two of you may share a child. You may have a child. You may bear a child. You know, some of you may already have a child. I see unexpected income coming in for you all. And it's because you've wrapped up a cycle. This is um, stability, success. And so we have uh, Toby Ningwe. I choose you. Nigiwe. I think that's how you say his last name. So I choose you. So somebody's definitely going to come in and choose you. You know, they're choosing you. And I feel like you're going to have to trust your intuition. You know, this is someone that's not coming into play either. This is someone that's coming in because they're be they've been searching. Remember, Roy Ayers was playing. They've been searching, you know, searching for love, searching for someone that is going to speak their love language. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our brothers, Scorpios from the Kipper deck, divine spirit? What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? From the Kipper deck. See, they're going to court you. They're going to be chivalrous. They're going to be charming. They're going to be respectful. And they're going to choose you. You know, they're going to choose you. They're not going to waste your time either. They're not going to play games because they know that you don't have time for that. You're too grown for that. So the bottom of the deck, we have child. And so some of you all, I feel like a lot of you with this child here, I feel like many of you have just really been... Um, healing that inner child you know there's been a lot of healing of that inner child and this 18 reduces to nine so i do feel like you know that's what a lot of you know this time out in nature grounding yourself healing yourself you know going through those startling metamorphoses um i feel like it's because you've been doing a lot of healing in that root chakra 
the root chakra deals with um, scorp that scorpionic energy. So I do feel like you've been healing your inner child. You've also um, been single parents. You've been dealing with, you know, your children. You've been helping your children. And you haven't had much assistance. You know, you've been raising your children. You've been providing for them. But with start delegating, I get a sense that you haven't had much assistance from the other parent. And so... You know, I feel like, you know, because you've dedicated a lot of time and energy to heal yourself, you now know what your children need in terms of their food for soul, you know, their food for thought. You know what they need in terms of nurturing, in terms of care. And so we have lovers here. So you're attracting your love, your true love, your twin flame, and it is written you know, whenever I see this card, I, I think of two people there in stone. So it says if it's written and then there's these two doves, lovebirds. So this person that's coming in um, definitely has wrapped up a cycle. And this is going to be a spiritual union, a connection. And I feel like this is someone that is, um, this is your divine masculine, your feminine, the ancestors. You know, with this, this is the ancestors conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person to you. So why is completion, boundaries, and rebirth here for the person Scorpio is attracting? This card flew up with so much force. And it's the lovers again. It flew up with so much force. So this is your person. This is a spiritual union. I cannot make this shit up. Spiritual union. And this person is scheming. And this person is definitely scheming. This is Slum Village scheming. Plotting and scheming. So they're definitely, you know, what they're doing right now is they're working on themselves so that when they do come in, they can strategize to come towards you. Because with this change, and then we have, you know, the highest number of change. They may have to change locations, localities. They may have to change, um, you know, change their approach and come visit you, travel to see you. There could be some distance, but I feel like that's the change. But they're scheming. They're plotting and planning. They keep tabs. I get a sense that they watch you. They're keeping tabs. I get a sense that you are familiar with this person because even with Guardian, you know, I feel like this person is, is being sent to you to be like your personal protector because with the word familiar, I just get a sense that this person, you're going to feel this instant chemistry and synergy and it's because there is this familiarity and it's because you may have known this person from a past life but this is absolutely undubitably like a soulmate this is a spiritual union and this person is going to make the necessary changes to come towards you they see the change i feel like the change you've made within yourself has propelled them to change it has also activated them and triggered them to change so why is karmic completion, unconditional love, and hex here, and banishment? Why is for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? Why is karmic completion, unconditional love, and banishment? This person could feel like you. Um, too many damn cards, but this person could literally feel, you know, like so deep for you that they feel like they got they're under some sort of spell. You know, let me charge this. Let me try. All right. So divine spirit, love and light. Why is karma completion, unconditional love, hex here? Oh my God! It's like it keeps. Oh my goodness! Let me put this back. I just want one message. Divine spirit, love and light. Oh my God. Okay. So it says mature woman. So they gave me one when I asked for it. So this is the same person. The six. Reduces to six here with the 15. So the six, they see you as a mature woman, very grounded, balanced, aligned, a natural healer, someone who's domestic, someone who's practical, someone who's resourceful, someone who's very abundant, very very harmonious. This is someone who feels, you know, like I said, that, they, that they're going to feel like they're under some sort of love spell with you. You may have met this person at your place of employment. You may have met this person at your place of employment. So what's hidden in the energy is saying occupation. And then we have individuality, purification, and cycles. So I do feel like you've met this person perhaps at your place of employment. Because even in this song, 
um, you know, what they're saying is like, you know, they're excited to go to work because there's someone in particular at their place of employment that they have, you know, this affinity towards. So that's what they're saying in this song, Plot and Scheming. So it's like somebody's in awe of someone that they, you know, they're attracted to at their place of employment. And then we have occupation. So I do feel, you know, like you've met this person before. I'm not getting ex. I don't feel like this is an ex lover. I feel like this is someone that you've either worked with, like I said, an associate, an um, acquaintance, someone you, someone you've met in passing, maybe even someone you've met on social media. But I do feel like you know there is a sense that the t two of you have been going through like individual growing pains. Like you've had to learn some things before you could come into union. And with cycles, you know, you've been completing cycles. Wrapping up cycles, you know, so there's going to be a message. There's going to be a message. This person, this is what's hidden in the energy is they're building the strength, the courage to come toward you, to message you, to communicate. Um, they may call you. So I do feel like with this card, there's a sense that you know them because there's, you know, they're either going to call you or they're going to write you a letter or they'll DM you or they'll text you, but I feel that there's already um, strong communication intuitively, telepathically, you know, even like I said, visiting you in your dreams. This person's very intuitive, whoever this is. I feel that both of you are very intuitive, but I feel like there was, you know, absolutely like there was some clearance that was necessary. There was some purging that was necessary. And once all of the, the, the purging is done and everything that needed to be released is gone and is out of the picture, I feel like this person will communicate. And this is going to change the direction of the relationship. Something will change positively. So we have um, abundance. Why is this abundance? Start delegating and which healer here? Our beloved Scorpios and bold and guardian for the outcome. Divine Spirit, love and light. Why is abundance? Start delegating. Healer, bold and guardian. You have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Divine Spirit, love and light. So they do see you as very mature, you know. And remember that divine feminine showed up in the pre-shuffle, you know. So we did see in the very beginning, you know, that divine feminine. So this person has you in their thoughts all the time. Someone can't stop thinking about you. And this is called Quiet, Quiet Moments by Lonnie List, Liston Smith. So during someone's, you know, quiet time, they, they, they have these thoughts. They're riddled with thoughts of you, memories of you. So I feel like this is someone who is you know they feel very much like you are a natural healer um they're feeling imprisoned you know like they can't make any moves but i feel like the divine is telling this person to be bold to take action because they are protected we got the mature man and the mature woman so this is a masculine who's trying to work their way in i feel like they're really you know up in their head a lot because maybe you know they're unsure of how to take action. And it's because, you know, they know that you are very powerful. You know, they see you as someone very powerful. So maybe they are, you know, unsure of how to come towards you, how to take action. So right now they're just being quiet, strategizing. They just have you up in their head. But I feel like with this abundance, this is alluding to the fact that there will be an abundance of love. There also is a lot of you know, telepathic and intuitive communication. With this imprisonment card, I feel like this is speaking to them up in their head. I feel like they definitely were dealing with a lot of unsavory folk, people who kept them bound and stuck. And that's why they had to break free, you know, because they were feeling stuck and stagnant, you know, and imprisoned mentally. This is the number 29. And remember with this 11 here, Along with this 11, I was picking up on like the fact that this was like a twin flame, someone that you are, you know, uh, spiritually uh, contracted to be with is like a spiritual contract. And so I feel like right now this person is breaking free 
from some sort of you know karmic relationship so they have to be bold in order to do so i feel like they have a lot of divine protection as well you know and so they they just have to trust their intuition in order to see their way clear because with this mat um mature male remember how they feel about you is you're the mature female the mature woman so you know if there is a hex someone could have placed a hex because how they feel about you is maybe they've um are familiar or aware that someone has done some sort of um spell work to block love to block um the potential um connection but this is a very learned man this is someone who could be at a distance or someone who could even have a, uh, you know, come from a different background. I feel like someone is working through this. They're gonna, they, they're gonna get closer. I feel they're closer to breaking free from this mental imprisonment. I feel like because due to the lack of listening to their intuition, they were unable to see things clearly, and now they are. So, divine spirit of love and light. Let me get one more card. Why is this imprisonment here? Why is this imprisonment card here? For the outcome for our beloved Scorpios. And my throat chakra is getting blocked. So I do feel like this person has difficulty expressing their feelings. See that? So someone's, look at this, in poverty. So someone is, is like struggling, you know, financially. So maybe, you know, they're in a relationship because of financial, uh, you know, finances, you know. And they're still impoverished. So it's like they may feel like if they leave, it's going to, you know, if they leave a situation that's otherwise, um, it's almost like if they leave a situation, you know, they feel like they're going to be, you know, they're going to feel broke, busted, and disgusted. But the divine is like guiding them. It's like, you know, telling them to go with the flow, go with what works, take risks, be daring. You know, you can't just go along to get along. You have to, you know, you have to change. You have to incite the change. You have to, you know, and we have um, flowetry playing closer. So I do feel like this person that you're attracting is growing closer to making a decision to walk away. Because we have concern and this is in reverse. You know, so I feel like there's no longer a concern or a fear. You know, there because we do see here in their energy... That they're starting to create some sort of boundaries. And so they're not going to just stay stuck and stagnant in a connection. Um, because they feel in prison. They feel stuck. You know, and, and I feel like they feel like no no matter how much money they put into a situation, they're still struggling. So it's like, you know, with that incubus, it's, it's, they're not going to have the success that they're looking to have um, with that person that they're with. You know? Because that's not who they're supposed to be with. That rep, that cycle has, is, is done. It's completed. So we have here on the bottom of the deck, you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So that's telling me that you've absolutely completed a cycle. You get that card when you've completed a cycle. This is how your person sees you as well. So you have completed a cycle successfully. And that's why you have that abundance card. Because you start to receive you know, rewards, recognition wish fulfillment miracles so what doesn't kill you makes you stronger that's what you had to learn you know you had to learn just how strong you were by leaning on your strength someone is recognizing you as very rare unique perhaps like an earth angel and we have Oshun playing again they're very attracted to you they find you to be very beautiful oops Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. I feel like, like I said, a lot of you could be meditating, contemplating, getting things straight, taking nature walks, sitting by bodies of water. I feel like a lot of you could be grounding yourselves, meditating, doing yoga out in nature. Um, and that's a very powerful way to receive the divine interventions, downloads, and transmissions. Someone sees you as rare, very unique, very special. Um, and like I said, you know, they feel like they've been searching for you their whole lives. They also see that you have a, a naturally loving, nurturing ability and they're hiding what they felt. And remember, we knew that because we have the concealment card 
along with this fulfillment card. This is the Ace of Cups. So someone's concealing their feelings. Someone's concealing their deep emotions. And just underneath that is the Death card. So we know that this person is hiding how they feel. You've gone through a major change, transformation, transformation, and you've garnered the respect of your peers, of the ancestors, and that's why they're going to reward you and acknowledge you. But someone that you are familiar with does have some deeper feelings, and I feel like they are very attracted to you deeply. You're being spiritually guided and divinely protected, so you do have an unpenetrable wall of protection, very fiery wall of protection. See that? Someone who was playing games in the past or someone who was definitely, um, you know, wanted to keep their options open, didn't want to settle down, is now realizing that they've caught feelings. So this is someone who's falling in love with y'all, Scorpios, and we saw that clearly. This is what's in the energy. Concealment. So they're hiding this. They've turned their back. They could have abandoned you. They could have left the partnership, ghosted you, whatever the case. But this is what they truly feel. This is what they're thinking of. This is what they're feeling. This is what they think of when they think of you. And that's what we saw here. Unconditional love. They have an unconditional love regardless of, you know, the circumstances. This person loves you no matter what the uh, outward appearance may be. So we're going to cut this deck and we're going to further clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. Bottom of the deck. It says... It, your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension. Hater alert. So yeah, this is what you was doing. You was wrapping up this cycle because this is the overall energy. Overall energy is you devoted a lot of time of healing. You devoted a lot of time of grounding yourself, connecting to your higher self so that you can break free from certain you know, karmic relationships, connections, people, circumstances, dynamics, belief systems, ideologies, behaviors. Like you had to center yourself. And because you've made those necessary changes, and because you started to um, be more obedient to spirit, now there's a lot of hate. But I feel like you've healed, you know, you've healed um, that inner child. You know, whatever you were suffering from, whatever childhood trauma, past life trauma, and you're intensified. Your, your strength, your power has intensified. And it's because you've devoted the time, the energy. You know, you've taken those nature walks. You've gone out and you've grounded yourself. You've healed at a soul level. And so now you're in alignment. Now you have haters that are like perturbed by your growth, by your elevation, by your ascension. And we have, you have people in secret competition. So not only, look at this. Your, your biggest fans are those upseething at your ascension. And then you have people who are in secret competition with you. So just as I said, someone has placed a hex on this on you and you've banished it but it is to block this love connection because it says you have people who are in secret competition with you keep your business to yourself so the person you're attracting um they have some negative Nancys, like I was saying, some Debbie Downers. They got some lying ass Larry's, some some hateful energy around them. And I was picking up the fact that, you know, that this is people who were rats, you know, people who had them stuck and trapped mentally, emotionally just feeling stuck and they was trying to keep them locked down. They were trying to lock them down and keep them impoverished. You know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, stealing their money, stealing their ideas. As we see here, your person is learning to, you know, set boundaries. And um, they're realizing, hold on one moment. So they're learning to set boundaries, pardon me. And they're, you know, now realizing and waking up to the fact, um, you know, that they had some folks around them that was fake and fugazi. But this is why they're having the rebirth, because they had the death. So they've, they've had a death, and as we see you know, cold, callous relationships, one-sided, non-reciprocal, using them for money. And now they're starting to wake up to the truth. We have Ghostface Killer playing um, Cherichez La Ghost. Um, and so, ghosts. So they, they, they definitely was ghosted. I feel like somebody was abandoned. Um, I feel like they was a ghost in their own relationship, um, tied to someone that w they didn't really know, dealing with a false person, a fake person, um, while longing for their true counterpart, their soulmate. You know, they were longing for you. Um, so there's someone hating and jealous of the connection spiritually that they have with you, Scorpios, which is why I feel like someone was manipulating energy. They may have done some sort of binding spell, frozen, freezing spell, or something to, 
you know, to separate the two of you. And so we have Tiana Taylor issues. Hold on. So see that with lion ass. So this is how this person feels. They, they're dealing with someone that they know is deceptive and they have issues and they were trying to hold on to something that was slowly disintegrating. Like it was, it was breaking, you know, breaking them down emotionally, mentally. Now they feel, you know, there's a sense of entrapment. Um, but with, you know, the song issues hold on, they were holding on to someone that was just, you know, full of issues, drama, trauma. You know, this is the lioness. Your person is waking up to the fact that somebody they was with, the angels, their ancestors are giving them downloads. They're having divine intervention. Um, and this is what's going to lead them to break free because whatever isn't growing is dead. Nothing can grow in the dead of winter. So that's a death, you know, that's similar to a death. But every death, you know, there's transmute, you know, it's, it's transmuted. Uh, because energy doesn't die. It's transmuted. So I feel like your person is regenerating and revitalizing and recuperating. And it's because of their, you know, their, their hope. They're holding on to, to the hope, you know, to the belief in love. They still believe in love, you know. So they're holding on, you know. So the issues they're breaking free from, but the love they're going to hold on to. Um and so they're trusting what they're feeling. Some of them could be seeing synchronicities, 999, 666. Some of them could be um, picking up on certain downloads. Um, but I feel like, you know, their angels and guides, their guardian is, you know, definitely protecting them and, and telling them to trust their intuition, to use discernment, you know, to not let anyone gaffle them and play them and, tr and trick them, you know. So why is um, karmic completion, unconditional love, hex, and mature woman here for how Scorpio's person feels? It says it sounds good, but so, and then we have mommy issues, daddy issues. So maybe they feel like this is too good to be true. Just like I said, like they feel like they're under a love spell. So they may not, they, they feel like it's too good to be true. They, they want to, to further investigate. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're afraid because maybe they are sensing that, you know, if you do have children, maybe a child is the, a factor. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they feel like, you know, if you already have children, they don't know how it's going to be um, to blend families. Maybe they know that you've had some sort of um, traumatic uh, or toxic relationship with the fathers uh, or the mothers of your children. So they don't want to insert themselves in that drama. Um, you know, th but they are in their head thinking about this. They know that you are very mature. They know that you are um, very grounded, but they're being told to love unconditionally without those concerns, without thinking the worst, you know, because maybe they feel like, you know, there's some sort of, you know, maybe they feel like, um, you don't have a good reputation when it comes to love. Maybe they have this misconception with you because maybe you, you know, you've been in relationships and they've never seemed to, they never ended successfully. So maybe they feel like you just, you, you're, you know, I don't want to say cursed, but maybe they don't know about the longevity and they're learning to, you know, just kind of like go with the flow. Let me get one more card. Why is this? Um, karmic completions, unconditional love, hex, and mature woman here for how the person Scorpio is attracting feels about the Scorpios. And then I've got these two here. So it, they know you're in a protective bubble, very protective of your energy. So you could be like in hermit mode. You know, you could be in hermit mode. They definitely know you're taking your power. So you've taken your power back, just like I said, prioritizing your needs and wants. Um, you know, they feel like maybe you'll have a sense of resistance. Maybe they feel you'll say that. It sounds good, but spiritually guided, divinely protected. So they do feel that this is a spiritual union. Like this is a powerful connection here, especially with, you know, emotional investment, longevity. So they do see stability here with you, you know. And I feel like, again, you know, this we're about to clarify what's hidden in the energy with individuality, purification, moon and messages. So it sounds good. I mean, it was all growing pains. So you learning to, you know, stand erect, be an individual, you know, to not um, be, de you know, be codependent or reliant on another individual to survive. Um, it was all meant to teach you, you know, um, it was all 
meant to teach teach you individuality, to teach you to be an independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant individual. Um, and some of you definitely um, with DeBarge, uh, the name of the song is Stay With Me. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you you chose not to stay with someone um, because you knew that there was a lot of secrets. But someone is going to be messaging you soon. And this could be someone that wants you to stay with them. It could be an ex, I'm hearing, because stay with me. You know, so maybe somebody is trying to re rekindle, or, you know, or reconcile. But with individuality, I feel like you've taught somebody uh, a very valuable lesson um, about who the fuck you are. And so we have use your first side of C, not the two in your head. They will deceive you. So somebody's going to message you from your past. And it could be the father of your child, mother of your child with mama beard. Someone sees you as very loving, nurturing, caring. And they see you as very empathic and compassionate. So, you know, someone does feel a lot of love. You know, I do feel like someone has a lot of love. And they do want you to stay with them. But I feel like, you know, this person is someone you've had a tower moment with. And they may want to rebuild. Because we see destroy and rebuild. But you've already done this work. You know, you've destroyed. You've gone through a tower moment. And you had to rebuild on a more solid foundation after someone destroyed. Um... You know what you were building you know with this karmic completion you had to learn self-love self-worth self-value and ultimately how to stand erect speak your truth stand your ground and be bold and so now there's a sense someone wants um they don't want you to leave they don't want you to go you know they don't want this relationship to end you know maybe they can sense someone's moving in or moving towards you and someone may you know turn up but um I feel like you're going to have to trust your own intuition when it comes to that. Um, because I feel like, you know, there's a lot of of um, cerebral activity here. And this is someone who's, you know, going to message something to you. Um, dealing with emotions, dealing with their feelings. So why is abundance start delegating um, healer and thoughts here for the outcome? Thank you, spirit. You saw that? And it says, ready to love, open to the new. So that's exactly what you're doing. By you healing yourself, you've become a healer. And now that you've healed yourself, you're radiating love, light. Um, you're automatically being seen as very loving, nurturing, caring, kind, emotionally um, balanced individual. Um, but I feel like you're, you're ready to, to, you know, to receive new love. And we have Sanaibo say, I owe you nothing. So you you don't owe anybody anything. I feel like you're going to go, because um, it says ready to love, open to the new. So you're open to the new. And I feel like you're going to, you know, you're going to oblige someone's offer. Someone new, you know. I feel like you're going to oblige someone's offer. You're going to keep it moving from the past because you're going to pick up something intuitively. And that's why you're saying, I owe you nothing, you know. I don't owe you anything. You know, all of this right here, this is what you've done to me. I love you unconditionally. You're the mother, you're the father to my child, but I don't owe you shit. You know, we've already had our moments. I feel like that's why the divine is telling you, use your first side of see. Because you're going to have multiple suitors. Somebody from your past is going to try to return because they can feel and sense that someone new is coming in. And this person that's coming in is absolutely your soul partner. This is a spiritual connection. This is someone that you have signed a contract with, like a past life connection. I'm feeling heavily. So why is bold, familiar, imprisoned, and poverty here? See that? So pay attention. This person is going to um, speak your love language. That's why this familiar card is here. Because the two of you are going to speak the same love language. You know what I'm saying? And this person is just learning to be assertive. That's why this bold is here. They're learning to be assertive. They're learning to go after what they want because I feel like they've been in a relationship so long that was had them bound and stuck, you know, that they don't have that confidence. They don't know how to, to assert themselves in certain situations. And so they're being, you know, pruned. They're, they're going through a pruning by the divine. Their guardian, their angels are assisting them and helping them to, you know, take action. With this 11, I feel like they're receiving downloads in the state. You know, they're seeing the rats, the snakes, the foo-foo energy for what it is. They're realizing that they lost a lot of bread in that situation. And they're going to take action because they realize they don't owe that person anything. 
They don't owe them anything. They gave all they could. This love language, that person didn't speak their love language. Their karmic didn't speak their love language. But I feel like with you, you guys are going to just lock eyes. There's going to be this deep attraction, synergy, connection, chemistry. You're going to feel a sense of familiarity with this person because that familiar is there. And I feel like it's because your guardian, your angels, ancestors are bringing this person in. And they're looking for that happily ever after. And let's not forget you had the um, that marriage card on the bottom of the Kipper de deck when I um, pulled it out. So someone's also looking for long-term commitment. This person sees you as someone that they can invest in long-term. They want longevity. They want stability because they didn't have that before. So you both are mirroring one another. And... Um, See this? So someone is coming in. I feel like you got an ex that wants to come back and apologize for how they treated you. I feel like you've left that connection. Enough of no love now. I know my worth now. Bye. You left the relationship with someone who abandoned you. Had you caught up in third parties. And now you are saying no more to the mistreatment. With um, We got baby face never keeping secrets. So as I said, there was a lot of secrets, a lot of lies, a lot of things happening. There was third parties. You know, there was a lot of competition. And um, you just wasn't putting up with the shit. I feel like that's what led to you learning to stand as an individual, to be independent and to enjoy your solitude. You know, but someone's seeking forgiveness. Someone's seeking um, you know, to apologize, you know, that could be why this person was thinking of you up heavily. Maybe this is going to be that letter of an apology. You know, someone's penning a letter to apologize. And I feel like that's why the divine is telling you, like, use your first eye to see, not two in your head, because they will deceive you. You know, you're very empathic. So we know naturally that you could get, you know, emotionally manipulated, um, especially if someone you know, knows how caring and nurturing you are, they will use that. But I feel like this is an energy that you've since cleared and purged yourself from. So you have to learn to love yourself. This person's going to apologize and say all the right things. But I feel like, you know, with the cards that showed up, you know, they did break your trust. They did hurt you. But you're going to have to use discernment in that regard. So this is your reading. I see new love coming in. I see this person and you. You both are matching one another's energy. I feel like you've triggered them or activated in them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And I feel like the more work you do on yourself, the more prepared and ready your person will be when they come in. Right now, you know, the outcome is, you know, someone will eventually break free, you know, from whatever this bondage is, whatever this you know, incubus, succubus type of energy, this energy lova, you know, energy vampirism, because they're going to set healthy boundaries, the person you're attracting, and they're eventually going to, you know, walk away from something. This rebirth is definitely denoting that there is a death of a connection, um, an ending of something, but you will be coming into union because this person sees you as their counterpart. They see you as their divine feminine, um, and they will feel a lot of unconditional love. They will feel this emotional um, connection as well. But I feel like this person that's coming in, they're still wrapping up a cycle that came out in the previous reading. They're wrapping up a cycle and I feel like you're strengthening in your power. And the more work you do on yourself, the more, you know, more ready, the more intensity builds, you know. So continue doing what you're doing, Scorpios. I definitely love what I'm seeing. You know, yeah, I, I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm seeing. But this is your reading. Definitely, um, if you, you know, if you're new, I hope that you stay well. If you return, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Definitely um, hit the like, the share, the subscribe if you so feel so inclined. And um, also, thank you for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I shake.